Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac again. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri and welcome to another Maya modeling tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, first off, it's going to be pretty long, of course. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to model a chess board with all the pieces and stuff. So we'll be modeling all the pieces and the board and we'll be texturing them and then we'll be lighting them. And hopefully in the end, we'll get something like this. Um, yeah, so this can be a result and uh, let's get started. I mean, you can do different textures and different shape, uh, not different shapes, but different textures. You can make this white and black and whatever you like. Once you get to that stage, you can, it's pretty customizable. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's just get started with this tutorial. So here I am in a blank Maya scene and let's get started with modeling this uh, chessboard chess pieces or whatever. So what I'm going to do is hit spacebar and go into the front view and uh, I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast. I'm assuming you know the basics of Maya but still I'm just going to go through all of uh, the things that I've did. So um, I'm going to go into view, image plane and import image and it's going to take me to this folder default documents. I'm going to go into the folder that I have the files so here it is and I'm going to go into pieces and select this and this is basically it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using poly modeling. Uh, you can use uh, like curves and then laid it or revolve it, but I'm not a big fan. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be using the <coughs> poly modeling technique to model all of these pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cylinder and I am going to turn off the subdivision caps so that we don't have this uh, top part. And the other thing is I'm just going to scale it down and put it here, hit spacebar to um, maximize a particular view. So what I'm just going to put this, just scale it up, move it here right here and then just scale it up to be able to match the size of this object just like that and just going to put this down here maybe right here right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this uh, face on top so go to right click and face and what I'm going to do is just like in my 2020 you can just hold down shift hit 4 to see the details of the image and if you can't see these properly so what you're going to do is just select this image hit control a and turn down the alpha again so you, you can you can see it a bit more clear you can still see the background but you're going to see your model more clearly so what you're going to do now is just select it and then go to uh, edges or that face which is selected now. So I'm just going to move it upwards and then shift drag again till here and then hit R scale and make sure you scale it like globally and not on the particular axis because it's going to, it's going to just um, distort it in a weird way. So what I'm going to do is just like scale it down and just uh, shift extrude, shift extrude and just scale it globally out. And just again and then in and again till here just in you know so just going to continue you know making this shape and then just like this and just like that and then move one more and start to basically scaling it down just like this you know and then I'm just going to move it up so hit F and just shift drag up maybe till here and just scale it down globally make sure you're doing it globally and then here just move it and again I'm just trying to do the same thing maybe here I need to just scale it up a little bit just extrude it and then scale it to be able to widen this and then shift drag again and just widen this again right and then just go ahead and just like that 
and I think that is it and for the top part we can just use a sphere so if I come here and I see this and I hit control one you can see that we've created this piece so if I just smooth this out you can see this there but still we still need to add some edges here so but uh, before that I'm just going to create a shift right click and create a sphere to be able to match the size of that and just about like that we don't need like the whole sphere so I'm just going to scale it down so that it kind of matches with that and we can we can just go ahead and delete like we can go ahead to this object select the faces and delete these bottom faces or maybe these bottom faces and I think that's it and then we just just need to move this down a little bit and it's it's not necessary but yeah you can you can you can merge them so just select all these uh, faces hold down shift and extrude if I hit three you can see that we are getting some weird edges here but it's not a problem we can just uh, shift right click insert edge loop tool just add one here and add one if I hit four you can see there so and you can see now there's no problem and then for this uh, body if I had three you can see we need a lot of uh, sharp edges here so what I'm going to do is just take the same thing insert edge loop tool and just add some you know cuts in the right areas to be able to hold the shape and not sort of lose it that's it and for these two maybe because you need to contain the shape yep and here and here just like that like that and here uh, not so much so I'm just going to continuously be doing that I'm, and I'm only doing this for this one and I'll speed it up with the next ones because it's going to be boring and repetitive to just do it. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. So just going to do an, an extrude and offset here to be able to hold the shape there. And I've got my first piece. I think this one is not particularly a thing because we can just select these shift select and then um, you basically hold down shift and the period key not on the NAM pad uh, next to the question mark and you can just like uh, select these faces hit shift and that period key and to grow it and then just move it down a little bit so it, it doesn't lose that circular sort of shape but still you know so just try to make it just like that it's okay and then we need to go ahead to mesh and combine not separate so this is going to be our first piece so I'm just going to scale it up and move it here so that's our piece or maybe I'll just leave it there so that it's there so I'm um, just going to be doing the same thing for this piece and it's going to be pretty much the same so I'm just going to shift drag this here and scale it up let's see how we can we can just match it um, hit one we don't need all these parts um, or maybe we'll just delete everything and just start over again so um, probably going to speed this up to be able to you know not waste time so what I'm going to do is just going to go here and select this top face and then shift and fill hole and select this face and just go there and I'm just going to be doing the same thing so just like extruding it and then moving it in a little bit to create that sort of a thing move it up just like that so I'm just going to speed it up and we'll be back when it's done
And again, I just want to emphasize that make sure when you scale it, you scale it from the center globally because otherwise you're going to get some weird um, distortions on the mesh which you don't like. So make sure to keep that in mind. And we're just going with this object. So just like that. And again here, I can just like add a little bit of a scale here and then add it there and you know for this part I can do the same just like you know move it just like that so all right so we've uh, kind of finished uh, doing this piece too so what I'm going to do is just hit three and see how it looks uh, but the only problem is, I think we can have a sphere here too. Um, or, yeah, we can have a sphere. So just select this and just select all these faces and just delete it. We can have a sphere there too. Um, or we can have this piece but separate it just shift right click and just go to extract faces so what I'm going to do is I'm, because we need to have this separately to be able to create that sort of uh, cut in between so and for the rest of the parts what I'm going to do is again just like usual add some support edges so I'm just going to speed this up and let you guys I'll be back when this is done So we are done with this piece with uh, adding the edges and then the next thing I'm going to do is it, it's not looking really good here which I don't know I can I can add some edges here and then some this one and this one to be able to hold the shape and yet still it looks kind of not connected um, which I don't know but it's okay um, I can just and maybe this piece too which is I think this is fine okay so what I do is take this one and I need to create a cut here so how you're gonna do that is you're just going to be creating a cube here so just create a cube just like that and then cut it just move it there rotate it hold down J make sure it is thick enough and just uh, rotate it just like from that direction see here that it came in the image make sure you scale it down and then you scale it in because you don't want to be too thick but you just want to make sure that you, you, you can get a clear cut in there so that's the thing and then I'm going to select this and that and go into uh, uh, mesh booleans difference and you can you can cut it and then if I hit smooth you can see it is okay but we need to add some edges here to be able to hold the shape properly so I'm just going to create select this face and that one and this one and I'm gonna go and add a extrude control E and then offset it just a small bit now I think it is holding the shape properly but we need to kind of connect these lines um, if I select this vert and I go ahead around and I select this vert just shift right click and connect you can see that we've connected it and then same thing goes I think to this one and maybe this and then connect it we're just trying to do the best we can because it is a thing a with booleans you always get these problems so I'm just going to do about the best I can to solve it so just uh, shift right click multi cut cut it from there to here I think that's 
that'll be it and for this one too so just cut it to there I think it's holding the shape properly it doesn't need to be perfect because it's already like too small but I'm just I don't want to have these artifacts so just hit G for the multi cut and then cut it here maybe cut this one here even though we're having like triangles but I think it is okay I'll just keep up with this maybe um, maybe connect these edges too so just select this for select this word and shift right click and connect and that one too so maybe this and that and I promise this will be the most not the most because the horse is the most um, sort of challenging thing but I think it's okay so just connect it all right I'll just stick with this and I'll call this okay you can spend more time and you know find it but uh, I think I'm okay with this probably gonna take this one and go to multi cut and cut it till the bottom and I think it's okay so that is uh, the other piece that we've created so from this far of a distance it doesn't look too bad I'm just going to center the pivot and for the next piece I'm just going to be doing the same so just take the this part and just um, extract it or just take the whole thing maybe we can use it yeah I think it's okay just scale it up a little bit and just move it up I think it's quite similar but yeah we, we need we do need to make some adjustments so what I do is just select all these faces and delete them this one too and maybe we need to select all these verts and just move this one in and sort of scale it down globally make sure you always that's what I'm emphasizing you do it globally so I'm going to just select and delete all these faces and select all these verts just scale them in to be able to create that and then I'm just going to be taking all these faces and just shift right click and fill hole so we can select the edge and the this part is extra so delete it select this one and I'm just going to be basically doing the same thing over again so I'm going to speed this up and I'll be back when it's done All right, so we are almost done with this piece too. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some uh, edges to keep it sharp. So, and again, I'm going to fast forward this and I'll be back when this is done. So just uh, shift right click, take the zero edge loop tool and start adding some edges. All right, so I am done with this piece too. I, and the last thing I'm just going to do is just add an edge here and just scale it out a little bit. So to create that, to balance out that thing and this one too. So, and these, I'll just group them or combine them. And that's it. So here we have the next piece and I'm going to continue on with the next one. So you can see that it's pretty repetitive thing. So. Um, I'm just going to fast forward 
you know, I'll be doing it in time lapse because it's already getting pretty boring. So I'll just uh, start with this. So I'm just uh, to copy. And most of it is actually the same. I can just, uh, you know, just move it up and just maybe take these words and scale them out a little bit. And I think that's it. And the rest I'm going to do in time lapse. All right, so we've reached till this part, and uh, I think uh, it's okay. But uh, for the this one, I'm just going to be. I just need to s take a look at the image a bit better. So I need to go to Google. Now we can we can create that piece. I think we'll create a box here, create a cube, and just move it there. And then I'll just, you know, just trace kind of shape but like that. Maybe like that, move it down. And for the other one, um, I can do the same thing. I can just, uh, or I can just add some edges to this. So like this, make sure it is like this. If you see the image, uh, it doesn't have too much of a thing, but that's that's the thing. And then I'll just add a edge here. So shift right click and then connect component. Double click this edge, just move it here. Uh, double click, move it. And then add one here too. So G, or just I'm sorry, select them. Shift right click, connect component. Double click and just move it here. And I think we have the edges, the necessary edges, to be able to model. You know these parts too. So I just move it up slightly, and just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I'll be doing the same thing for the bottom part. So, or I can just uh, copy it, but still okay. So, just going to do that and just scale it down. Just like that, and then scale it in, you know? So, and that's the part. But if I smooth this out, you can see it's losing its shape, so I need to add some support edges. So I'm just going to take the, go to edge, click on one edge, right click, shift right click, insert edge loop tool, and just add some support edges to be able to hold the shape. Just like that. One here and one here and uh, one here too to be able to hold this shape one here and one here and there and there and one here so uh, you know I'm just doing it based on what I see so it's and the other thing is if I hit like three, I can just go to this face and this bottom face of this object. That's what I'm looking for. So just move it up and then take the bottom face and delete it because 
Anyways, we're not going to be seeing it and we don't need it, but we just need to add a support edge here and one here and one here. I think that's it. So just take this and move it down. And I think that will do it for this piece. And for this one, uh, I too need to add some support edges. So just uh, time lapse it, and then I'll be back when it's done. So we are done with this piece too. So this is the piece. And now we're going to come to the most fire, the most challenging piece, which is this uh, horse, uh, which I think, yeah, it is the most challenging one. So um, let's start with this. I think till here it is almost identical to this one or yeah, this one. So what I'm going to do is just uh, copy this, shift drag it here. And you can see that it is actually pretty identical to till there. So what I'm gonna do is just select all these uh, parts and just delete them. So we, we don't need them and then select these verts, maybe scale them in. Just like that. And it's I think okay, just need to select these, scale them up a little bit, just like that. And then for this part, though, I need to find a way to, I'm not going to be like, you can like sculpt it, but I'm not going to be doing that. I just like, I'll just trace it and extrude it. That's the way I would do it. Okay. So let's see how we can do that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I will just take, I think we have a tool here. It's called Mesh uh, Mesh Tools Create Polygon. And I can just start somewhere, maybe here, and just click and it will create polygons for you, which is pretty neat. So what I'm going to do is just trace this image and its shape just like that. Don't be, oh, just um, make sure to not hit Control Z. You can just hit Backspace. And that's what I did exactly. So just uh, again, so I'm gonna go and trace this. And once you're done, just hit W, and it will just create a little piece of uh, shape here for you. So, and I'm going to go into modify center pivot and just, I'm just going to hit control E and extrude it to be able to get the thickness of uh, this object, just, uh, just like that. And yeah, we can, we can match it just like that, but that is the general shape of this art. But if we three, of course, we're going to lose the shape. So the thing I need to do first is I need to add some edges to be able to manipulate the shape. So just going to add a control right click for edge ring and then edge ring and split and just bevel this and add one more and just going to take this face and this face control E give it some offset not like so much and then just move it, like scale it out on this side. To be able to create a little bit of a, you can see that it's there, but it's losing its shape because these things are kind of empty. You need to connect it somewhere. So what I'm going to do is just select these, make sure that they are, if I click, Connect it so that it doesn't lose the shape, even though it will go to like triangles, but I, I think it's not that much necessary. Just uh, 
to get the general shape. Yeah, I need to connect this one too. So now it's not losing a shape, which is pretty good. And this one too. Yep. I think it's okay. I can just now connect through multi-cut till here. And I think that's it. It's pretty nice. I can just do one more till here. Or maybe this one till there. And this one till here. Yep. I think that's the part from there. And I can just go ahead and delete this part. This half. Just work on one half and then we can just copy it to the other side. Alright, so I would say that's okay. And um, in order to uh, create, um, you know, if you want to create the eyes, what you're going to do is just inset this, offset it downwards, and just shift right click and circularize component and just add one division. So you, you have it there. I can just um, shift drag, give it a little bit of a ring and then extrude it inwards or outwards or whatever. Or you can just select all these and extrude it in or out or whatever. So I'm just going to be doing that and see. I think it's looking pretty cool already. So that is our sort of our horse. You can you can you can spend time and add more details, but I would say that's 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 okay. And then just shift right click and go to mirror and go to Z and apply. And there you go. You have your horse. Which I am go, which is pretty thick. I'd say just make it a little bit there. Yeah, that's 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 more like it. And just uh, center the pivot. And let's see how it's sitting on top of this. Um, of course, we do need to kind of uh, take the bottom and not make it lose its detail. So what I'm going to do is add some edges here. So insert edge loop tool. Have one here. Um, I know I'm going completely against the rules of modeling, <laughs> but what I am trying to do is just to get the general shape of this object. That's what I need and that's what I'm doing. So just move it down slightly. Take this one. Just double click and shift right click and fill hole. And just take the face and extrude it in. That's it. So I'm going to just move it and put it on top. So it just it kind of looks like it's sitting there. And just move these words down. They don't they need to be in a straight line. Sort of. As we see in the image. Or I can just select all of them and just flatten them out, you know? Yeah. I think that will that'll do nicely. So we have the horse, the creepy looking horse, <laughs> but I would call this okay, all right? And for the last piece, I'm just going to copy this one again and just, uh, or maybe not that one, this one. Looks a bit, yeah, actually very similar. The bottom part is almost perfect. Just uh, select these faces and delete and select this uh, edge here 
and basically do the same thing. So just again go ahead and um, fill hole and the same repetitive thing. So. Alright, uh, the thing that is unique about this piece is that uh, you have, uh, if I hide this edge, you have some pieces here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to take this one, just hit Control E to extrude and then offset it inwards and extrude it inwards, just like that. And basically select and delete, you know, that's very simple. Just select and delete every alternate edges, just like that. Delete, delete, delete. Let's go around and do it. All right, so now we have the shape, but I think like that, it's not it's not like looking too good. So what I'm going to do is just just add this edge here. Uh, take this face and extrude it in a little bit, so it kind of has an edge, and then I can just connect them. It's like all these uh, edges, sorry. Uh, and I think we've deleted these two extra which we need to connect or bridge so just bridge they were necessary so just bridge them they were deleted like accidentally i think bridge this one that one bridge and i think that's it and i think i would leave it like this it actually looks more cooler than that but if you want to have that one you know, you can add like select all of these and just right click and connect. And then once you do, you're going to want to select all these words. Control F10 to uh, convert them to edge, and then you want to shrink your selection by holding down shift and hitting the comma key on the keyboard and just bevel it to be able to get those and now you can see that their shape is holding up so that's that and I think the thing we forgot is uh, that like we didn't need to delete the interior parts of these so just if I select I can just go ahead and bridge or maybe just go around and bridge them just like this um, but we've already added these edges so what I can do is just select those words from this view which are I think they're a bit hard to get now so just we'll do it around just delete or let me see here I can just select these pieces if I go to this view just select these pieces hit control 1 to be able to isolate them and then select vertices, just select that top one, control backspace, which we did delete, but not from the interior part. So again, select them, control backspace. Well, we can't just delete the interior part, just control backspace amount. Yeah, so we did, but the uh, the words are still there. So at three, you can see that we're getting these this effect. 
what I'm going to do is just uh, hit Control Z. I think that'll make it easier. We shouldn't have added these edges. We should have bridged them first and then add them, but I think it's still okay. So what you can do is just uh, select them, go around, select one by one, and then go to bridge. And that I would say will do. Yeah. Now you don't. I think you do need. You need to connect like this and like this. So I think I'll go around and do this, which is pretty boring, but I'll do it. All right, so I've went around and select and bridged all, not all, uh, this one is left. And it took a lot of time. It took like forever, but I am glad that it's finally done. So now we can see we have this effect, which I would say is okay not perfect but okay uh, considering the time that we've put in and then i can just add an insert edge loop tool here to be able to kind of just like hold the shape and add one here and one there now you can see that we're holding the shape pretty tightly which is actually looking nice so here we have our pieces of uh, our thing and uh, I'm just going to select them and that is our pieces so the next thing I'm going to do is build the chess board which we also have a reference image uh, or even if I go to Google you can see that we have it here um, just click it maybe I'll do something like this yeah a very sort of flat surface so what I'm going to do is go into Maya create a cube before that I'm going to just move all of these move these pieces here create a cube and then select it and then just scale it just flatten it just like that and uh, I will scale it up even more, just like this. So the thing that is there, like how many pieces do we have? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have an eight by eight uh, thing. So what I'm going to do is just uh, select this. And just extrude it just like that and extrude it in and to be able to hold the shape I just need to insert some edge loops so insert edge loop tool just add one here one here one there and one there and it's still uh, losing its shape because we haven't we need to select these edges around and just bevel it slightly. Maybe two. And now we have our shape. She's looking pretty cool. Not that much, but it's okay. And we can probably add one here, one in there to be able to hold the shape properly. All right, so we have our shape here. Our table or whatever you want to call it and then the bottom you can just select it and extrude and offset it a few levels not like just one level it's okay all right not even that I think yeah, I would rather just scale it down that's it we, we will not be seeing that but it's still okay so we need to create this texture right so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do that in Photoshop, which is going to be much more simpler. And now we need some wood textures. So you can you can go ahead and search here, Google, uh, some wood texture. And then you get it. So I need two textures. One I will need for the pieces and one I'll need for the board. So I'm going to... 
Maybe maybe use this for the board. So I'll just save this. Right click save. So I think it's here. Mm, wood texture. And then the other one I will need it for the pieces. Maybe a slightly lighter one. Which we'll be doing. Brown wood. Oh, we need one without the thing. So I think this will do, but you can see it has watermarks. So probably choose this. We can tile it. Yeah, it's seamless, so we can tile it. So just uh, save as, and that's it. All right, so what I'm going to do is open a Photoshop. And I've opened this image uh, in the Photoshop, and then I can get a, a checker texture. And you can you can even I think type eight by eight, and you're getting eight by eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the pattern that I am looking for. You can you, you can generate Maya, but I think it's okay. So, but this is pretty small. So what I'm going to do is go into Tools, Size, Large. So now we have an eight by eight texture. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. So just save this there, and then I can open it in Photoshop. Here it is, and I can crop the extra parts. I'm just creating the texture for the top part where the pieces are sitting, will be sitting rather. So just move this up, or you can just uh, move this one in there and scale it down, just huge, hit control zero. Scale it down like that and make sure you set the mode to like what screen? Screen is fine, I think. And I'll just save this as a final board texture JPEG. Save it, go to Maya, and I will just select this one. And I can go ahead and shift right click and extract the space. Or even duplicate it by the thing extracting it is also fine. And I'm gonna go and I'll be using Arnold, so just right click and go into uh, apply new material and then go to surface, AI stand surface, and just go to color and add that texture. So here in the files, image name, I'll just go browse and go to that folder. So here we have our final board texture and just apply that. Hit six to see the texture. And then I'm going to shift right click, material attributes, click here and just place this repeated eight by eight. Not like eight by eight, but think two, two. Or maybe four by four would be okay. I think now we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe five, five. I think it's not, it's not looking perfect. So what I can do is just go here and choose like planar. Make sure you are in the Y and just scale it up. So you have like eight by eight. So I think now you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just leave it like this. All right. So um, and then for this one, I can add uh, another 
a new shader yeah it's time to surface get the color file and go to file and I will use the same texture this wood texture I think and you can see it's not fitting properly so what you can do is go to UV and I'm just going to be using automatic which will uh, or automatic also or you can do like camera based you know and it'll it'll do the job which in this case is fine I would say but not, not great but it's okay so I'll just leave it maybe you can repeat the texture to get some more detail maybe like three by three and I think it's okay so now uh, I need to put one more texture for these I'll just uh, make sure to group these two or combine them I'll just apply it to this one see how it looks so new material shader AI standard surface in the color I'll be using a file and on the file just open and select I think we haven't we haven't chosen the proper wood for our this so it's there it's not showing up so maybe we'll probably need to choose another one but it has a watermark so maybe I'll choose a different one maybe this just save it then save go to Maya just choose uh, this one and you can see that they're not uh, it's not looking proper so what I'm going to do is go to UV camera based and I think or cylindrical sorry because the shape is very cylindrical so apply it and just close this and maybe we need to we need to adjust this Um, I think I would go with like automatic not automatic like camera based see which one looks better I think this wood isn't properly like made for this so what I'm gonna do is pick another one a very you know or maybe you don't you don't even need to give them like color so I'm just going to go to material attributes Alright, so we have our uh, our table done. So now we're gonna go and uh, give these like a material. So I'm just generally select them all and just go to new material and shader. Yeah, it's down the surface. Just give them like a little bit of a brownish. Color, just like that. Scale them up, not like this. I can just um, take a reference image because I'm not too well at chess so I can just go ahead and select so and now in order to place them I can use a reference image to place the the objects onto the board so here I have the image so you can see that um, it is there and what I am going to do is uh, in Maya make sure our thing is not properly you know um, I can go into the attributes go to the texture and maybe place this to like six or four no five is fine maybe for this I'll need to increase it too for uh, yeah I think now we have one two three four five six seven um, maybe even like three uh, or four 
I think that's okay. All right. So um, first, if I look at this image, we have the king and the queen and two of these and the horses and that. So go back into Maya. I'll take this and this and I will move it here. Yep, just like that. And move this here. And I'll take one of this and move it here. I think they're going into the object a little bit, so just move them up slightly. And move this one too. And uh, I'll take a copy of this shift, copy it over. And then we need to have the horse. Make sure to combine it with the shape. Move it. And move it up. So it sits on the floor. Take a copy of this and just put it here. And I'll take this one move it and just hit F make sure it's sitting there nicely and just uh, take another copy just move it here I think that's it and for these uh, soldiers just put one here shift drag it there Make sure it's on the center and just copy it over just like that. So I think we've created one side and then I can just select these, you know, and I will do a group control G and then mirror them on the Z axis. So just apply it, that's it, you know? So, yeah, the only thing is we need to change the material for these. Um, I'll actually, you know what? I'll just combine them first, right? I, need, I want them to be one object and then select all of these and then go to extract faces. So now they're separate. You have one, hit three, make sure to hit three on all of them to make them smooth on all of these and these. Okay. And make sure that these soldiers are also sitting nicely because we haven't select them so just select all of these move them up i know i'm going you know very boring but the thing is i, I I'm, I'm not skipping anything i'm just showing you guys the real process you know like how i would do it like i know i'm making a lot of mistakes but hopefully you're following till here and now if I select all of these and deselect these, I can just go ahead and right click new material, shader, AI standard surface, and make these black. All right? Not like, we'll see what the lights. All right, so now I'm going to create a plane and scale it up um, a little plane like that and let's see how it looks with the lighting so if I if I just add a um, an area light hit seven and just rotate it so it gets to this side move it up and uh, just go to the light shape and increase the exposure to maybe like seven 
and shift right click drag one and then rotate it to this side maybe move it up and this side and then one just rotate it and then one in the middle to be able to light it up properly like all of them so now if I go into the Arnold renderer in the viewport I can just see how it looks they're actually not looking too bad they're sitting very nicely we need to delete this cube um, this extra one if I go back here I think we have a cube there at four where is the cube five six it is showing in the render but not in the viewport I can just select all of these and uh, move it up or these objects well now let's see yeah now it is gone um, yeah so you can make it like any different color or whatever but this is how you would do it you know so I'll just sorry maybe it's yeah I can just leave it like that you can even add a sky dome to be able to create more light but I think it is okay so um, maybe what I'll try to do is I will try to go ahead here select this light maybe and slightly move it to the side to light it up from this view too so now if I go back here just now you can see that yeah we have a nice shading there you can go ahead and zoom in or out but this is our effect our final render I know I've done it pretty weirdly but like the most important thing is you're getting to this stage and hopefully you've learned something from it I know it's a very long tutorial but I just wanted to like do it and show you guys how you would do it right so I think for these with the black ones the color is a little too black I can just increase the color or maybe even make it white you know who knows looks better And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead into the render settings and you're going to go ahead into Arnold, set the camera A to 4, diffuse to 3 and take a full HD 1920 by 1080p frame, click on render and I'll wait till this gets rendered and I'll be back when this is done. Alright, so our render is done and you can do some basic uh, color correction here to get a nice look and that is basically it that is it for this effect you can do some more lighting you can, you can do whatever you want but for the modeling and texturing and lighting part I think it's done and the tutorial is already very long but I hope you learned something from it and I hope you enjoyed it alright so this was the today's tutorial and if you like this video or you like my content Make sure to subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. It will support me. Make sure to like the video so it shows up in the YouTube recommendations so more people can watch it. And if you've missed anything or if you have any suggestion for this tutorial or an upcoming tutorial, make sure to mention them in the comment section below and I'll be more than glad to answer them. So, uh, yeah, uh, subscribe and um, most importantly, um, enjoy what you do and do what you enjoy and uh, as I always say till the next tutorial enjoy working